morning, everybody. Uh, you're all very welcome here today, and I'm delighted to um, I'm delighted to be here to do the MC for this morning session. Interesting. Some research that was done by a master's student in LIT, you know, showed that a lot of construction workers were completely confused by the terminology terminology about near zero energy buildings, green buildings, sustainable buildings, low energy buildings. When you start talking about quality, they knew what you were talking about. For the last couple of years, people have been nearly afraid to talk about construction. But that's wrong. We need a proper functioning construction sector that contributes about 10 or 11% of our GDP every year. We might have went too high there for a number of years and we thought we'd get rich as a country selling houses to each other. It doesn't work that way. But we do need a construction sector, but we need it in a proper, sustainable way, and we certainly need a greener construction sector. I think the government in the budget announced the plan to build 20,000 social housing projects. Wouldn't it be amazing if we actually said, right, those 20,000 houses have to be built to an extraordinarily high standard? I'm not going to label it now, it's just a really, really good standard. Because if that were the case, the construction workers on those 20,000 houses would actually have an amazing experience you know, in, in building to that standard, we could almost use it as a case study to up train, to upskill and train a lot of construction workers. So we've got an opportunity, we've got a case study of 20,000 houses. And the professions that most need um, upskilling are the following ones, it's carpenters and joiners, bricklayers, stonemasons, also uh, installers uh, of uh, heat pump, for example, plumbers uh, and electricians. These are the ones that are mostly uh, mentioned. What QualiBuild will try and achieve and aims to achieve via the train the trainer and then via the delivery to, to the end user will be a very concise, very practical approach to the delivery of the message. The key message being that you should be able to walk away if you're a trainer or if you're providing training that the candidates walk away with a learning outcome that's actually usable. I think the next set of challenges will be, uh, will be making recommendations that will really challenge the status quo in terms of how these construction workers can be trained, how it's going to be financed, and the additional progression paths that are needed.